I uh, I'm hungry. I'm ready to eat. And you know what that means? We're gonna have some cereal. I got a lot of it, but this is specific cereal. So if we take a look here, three free cards inside. So yes, right now, General Mills is having a promotion that just started, I just pulled these off the shelf literally two days ago as of the time I'm recording this. So I guess when you see it, it's been like four days. But in select varieties of General Mills cereals, there are three in Pokemon cards included inside, and I'm, I guess I'll show you the back side of the box. You can see like all the different types that they have, and there's also a, I think a promo Galarian Ponyta and a Pikachu, and I think those are some of the best ones. A lot of these other ones are reprints, but I could tell that some of them, let's see if we can do a look here. Like those are obviously the, the logos that we already know, but up at the top here, those are black stars. You, it doesn't want to focus, but there's black stars on those guys. So I figured, well, I need to get my hands on some Pokemon cereal so I can get the cards, but I am not a cereal eater. Um, I do not eat cereal very frequently at all. So I figured what better way to eat cereal than to, or to did the cards and to just do it, do a ranking of the five cereals included in this list. Figured why not go that way? So the five that we're going to be looking at as we go through the cards as well are Lucky Charms, Tricks, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Golden Grams, and last, and maybe least, I don't know, oh, Cocoa Puffs. So we are going to have a small bowl of each of these, opening each box along the way, taking the Pokemon cards out, looking those as we go, but also ranking them. On, so here we go, you can see my bowl here. Down here, I'm gonna have like a one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna take the logo for each, and as I update my rankings, I'm gonna move that around there, and you'll have the worst to the best cereal, in my opinion. And it won't, obviously won't be a full bowl. We'll kind of review each cereal and see how it goes. I wanna start with Golden Grams, because Golden Graham cereal is one that I, actually have never had before I, I didn't realize this was something that people actively ate i didn't like for them to do a promo with it i thought was interesting and i'm gonna steal the logo for each of these so i have something to mark where i think they belong oh. so right off the bat sniffing it i don't get much Where's the card actually at? Is it in? Oh, no, it's not. Thankfully, the card is not at the bottom of everything. Wow, that is a good looking pack. I'm gonna have to get another one of these just to hold on to. But we'll open this first just to give us that and then we'll look into the cereal. Oh. Well, I like how they stored there. And once again, I don't know all of the cards that are in the set. I don't even know if there's a card trick. I don't know if the card trick. Okay, does everyone get a Pikachu? Is that a guarantee in every box? Because if not, that is some great RNG. QFant, which like I said, is just from the actual series. And Galarian Zigzagoon. Is the, so the Pikachu is not guaranteed. I don't think. So right off the bat, we got the Pikachu. So now Golden Grams is instantly my favorite. Golden Grams, you were over here in the number one slot. So right off the bat, we got the Pikachu. I was not expecting that, but now let's see what we got here. I think this has potential. It's actually really good. Dry, at least. I have milk ready. I have bowl ready. We'll do... Passes the sound test goes into the bowl. They're actually very crisp pieces there, and I 
filled this nice thing with milk so I didn't have to, uh, I don't need a ton of milk. There we go. Just enough to work with. All right, let's see what we got. Hmm. I think it's better dry. I feel like you instantly lose some of the nice sweetness and it got really boring. And it got really boring as soon as it was added to the milk. It's still not, it's not bad. But dry, I would I would just eat that as a snack. I wouldn't eat this as an everyday cereal. Without a doubt, I would not do that. More bite. Yeah. So I guess in terms of we're looking here, we'll just start going grabs in the middle. We can move it. We can go up and down. But uh, I don't know. I need to find a, a throwaway bowl. So this will be our throwaway bowl. Not that any of this cereals. I'm, I'm gonna just eat a giant mixed bowl of everything at the end. Yeah, dry, it's really good. But as soon as you add the milk, it kind of lost a lot of its nice sweetness and that's kind of disappointing because I had high hopes for, for golden grams. I was thinking, I had kind of an idea of where these guys were gonna fall in my own head. And for some reason, I thought Golden Grams right off the bat was going to be a strong number two candidate, even never having it before, just because of what these other cereals are. Let's get into this guy first, because I think this one is a controversial one. Lucky Charms. Controversial for a few reasons. One, based on my recollection, recollection of Lucky Charms, I don't think Lucky Charms is very good. I think Lucky Charms is entirely based upon um, RNG, where you're either getting, actually, where you're either getting really good um, marshmallow ratios, because I think that's what carries the cereal, without a doubt, or you're not, and you're just getting their bland cereal, from what I remember, they're getting their bland cereal, which I will stand by and say that. I may be corrected here in just, you know, a minute. Open... Okay, so is Pikachu guaranteed every single one? He must be, because I have gotten Pikachu now on the top. Hey, a holographic. Oh, I got a promo there. So there's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Glossy Fleur. Promo card. And then Dreepy, which I don't remember getting, but I figure I must have it. So we got one of the other promos. Pikachu must be in every box. I think the big pull that you want is the... Uh, Galarian Ponita. But that is a nice... I want the more Peko too. It definitely... We, there's several things in there. But Lucky Charms is one of those that I think overall is not that good. I think the marshmallows really are what carries it. Like if I just pull this out right now. The cereal itself is so boring. But you get a marshmallow whole different cereal so let's see what we think all right so there's our pour very crunchy very fresh so i can't knock it for that get our milk in there and to give it the best shot possible you know i'm gonna i'm gonna get a good scoop i'm gonna try and get one I have good marshmallows. See, when you get the marshmallows, it's a whole different game. Like, you're just, just cereal. I don't know. Are the marshmallows enough to put it above Golden Grahams? Those golden grams were awesome by themselves. In the milk, 
They changed entirely. Like, I could sit down here and grab another piece of this. I love it. No, actually. All right. I think for now, Lucky Charms has to move in front. I think the marshmallows, there's enough marshmallows where it carries it. And I think it firmly belongs ahead of Golden Grahams. Because of that. So into our dump bowl we go. And if you agree, agree, disagree, let me know in the comments. It's a fluid scale here. Maybe it'll move again. Maybe more stuff will get shifted. I want to go into another controversial one for me. Because I used to eat so much Cocoa Puffs when I was a kid. Um, it wasn't my favorite cereal. My favorite cereal was always Captain Crunch. So we'll put Cocoa Puffs there for now. My favorite cereal was always Captain Crunch. But Cocoa Puffs always, when I was young... We'll get our cards out first. When I was young, Cocoa Puffs were always very good, very consistent. And I bought them. I haven't had Cocoa Puffs in maybe, come on, uh, maybe, frick, not since I moved into this house. So, oh my goodness, why is this one the first one that's giving me troubles? Not since I moved into the house that I currently live in, so... Maybe it's been three years since I had Cocoa Puffs. It's been a lot longer for a lot of these other cereals. Um, I'd never had like Golden Grahams. Yeah, so Pikachu is inside every single one. So it doesn't look like we get a ton of of uh, variety. Sinus Tea and Galarian Mouth. So not a ton of big pulls. The Pikachu is the main thing you're getting here with these. It's a nice hollow too, if you look at that. But, we'll set that aside. Uh, the glare and ponytail, I think, is what we want. There's several other ones. But, Cocoa Puffs, I feel like they got bad. I don't know when it happened. Don't know why it happened, but I feel like they lost their chocolatiness. Like, they lost the sweetness that was always, like... Like, they're even... They're smaller than they used to be. I swear to God, they're smaller. And even just right there. They don't have... Dry, like once again, dry, they're okay. But when we add the milk, and over time, people are going to say, well, you got to let them sit in the milk for a little bit so you, you, you get your chocolate milk or whatever. No, I want to eat my cereal crunchy. There's a weird taste. Like, the milk does not help anything. And I love milk. Cocoa Puffs said it's not good anymore. 100% Cocoa Puffs are just not good anymore. And if you love Cocoa Puffs, I'm sorry that you don't have taste buds because Cocoa Puffs are genuinely not, not good anymore. It is what it is. So Cocoa Puffs right now will go on the other side of Golden Grahams. They might even go to the bottom so bot. I can't say at this point. You know what? We'll do this because I think the last one will shake things. I have a pretty good feeling this is going to be number one. This is a lot of people's favorite cereal. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I hear all the time. I never ate it as a kid. I tried it as an adult and I liked it. Uh, back when Good Mythical Morning did their cereal, like, battle. Um, I tried it after that video. And it was good. It was fine. Um, wasn't something I was going to make an everyday eater, but amongst this, you know, category of, car of, of cereals here, it might not be... Oh, God. It might not be the worst. It probably will be the best. Amongst the people we're looking at here... I have a strong feeling that Cinnamon Toast Crunch is going to be the best. Wow, another Pikachu. I can't believe it. Just kidding. Every pack has the Pikachu. So there we go. Hey, the Galarian Ponyta. 
I think this is one of, I think this is one of the more um, sought after ones. The very My Little Pony like artwork here we have going on for the Galarian Ponyta, and on the back, Galarian Farfetch. But I got this guy. This and the Pikachu were the ones I wanted. I didn't realize the Pikachu was going to be in every single box. But the Galarian Ponyta was the other one that I really wanted to get. So let's do this thing. Where? What are we doing? Why are you still on my desk, Coco Puffs? You know you're not allowed. You're garbage. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like I said, I have a strong feeling this is going to be number one. It's not some... I don't have a huge nostalgia kick for it. If anything, the nostalgia should have drawn me, drawn me to Cocoa Puffs. Oh, I got to eat it dry. It's the first test. And right off the bat, the most flavor from any of them dry. So that's got to be good for something. Yeah, the most... Like, in that... They're coated. You can feel it, the cinnamonness of it. I have a good feeling that we are going to be number one here. Just right away. So much flavor compared to any of the other ones we've done here. Yeah. Yep. There's absolutely zero doubt about it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is firmly the number one. I would be blown away if our last cereal beats this. Because this is far and away better than anything else we've had so far. Far and away better. Not even on the same planet. Like, holy cow, ridiculously different. So... It's down to one. One box here, one more set of cards. Trix it is. And Trix is actually a cereal, once again, that I do not think I have ever had before. I was never a fan of the fruity cereals. That wasn't something that was on my radar. I liked Captain Crunch. I liked the old Cocoa Puffs. I liked the old Oreo O's. I liked things like that. And then as I grew up, I started eating like, um, oh yeah, cards, cards. I started eating more, um, like adult type cereals. Honey Bunches of Oats, I think became my favorite. There was like a Kashi one that I was eating for a long time. Yeah, I got old and boring, but they were, they were good. They did what they did. They, and they were enough. All right. Oh, wow. A Pikachu. Again, everyone's getting the Pikachu. Let's see if we can get one more promo to end with. And we do not. We get the Galarian Meowth and Galarian Zigzoon. Again, was hoping for the Morpeko. But at least we got the Ponyta. So, it all comes down to this. Can Trix actually make a name for itself? Can Trix be a seer that comes out of, out of left field and pushes something to a spot that I did not expect. Because I came into this saying Trix is going to be last. Right away, I don't know how I feel about it. I do like how there's actual shapes though. Like, instead of just being balls. That's nice. Nice little touch. So let's do that. Give it a chance here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a man of opportunity here. The flavor lingers. Do they all do the? Do they taste different? Does like one of these berries taste different than another one? It's a question for somebody who knows more about cereal than I do. They're just so different compared to everything else. And I'm not a fruity cereal type of person. But the Cocoa Puffs were not good either. Oh. Which one would I rather eat? Cause it's gonna go down here. It's definitely in the bottom two.
I don't think I could eat tricks for the rest of my life. That is what I'm going off of tricks. I could not eat for a prolonged amount of time. So this is our list. Tricks in the bottom slot. Cocoa Puffs, Golden Grams, Lucky Charms being a surprise one coming into second place. I thought for sure Lucky Charms was going to be here, Golden Grams was going to be there, and Cocoa Puffs was going to be the middle one. And without a doubt, I already knew it. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is on the top spot. You can't deny that. But that's my ranking. Let me know if it's any different from you. Let's see what you pull on our stack of cards here. So lots of good promo stuff that I wanted out of this. So I'm fine to get that. Glad to get the Galarian Ponyta. That was, I think, one of the ones that specifically advertised on the box. It says, chance to get an exclusive Galarian Ponyta. So I'm, I'm in exclusive territory right now. But let me know what you think. If you think this is different, if you're mad at me for something I said about your favorite cereal, let me know in the comments. But otherwise... Thank you for being here. I'm going to go finish my throwaway bowl of breakfast cereals, and you have a good day.